You probably have the same struggle as me. How the f do I gain weight? And how do I do it fast? Well, you click into the right video. In this video, I'll be giving you seven tips in order for you to build muscle quickly and to get that aesthetics physique you always wanted. I started off as an extremely skinny kid. I looked like a twig, a walking stick. Over the past one and a half years, I've been able to transform my body completely and going from 47 kilograms all the way up to 65 kilograms. And I did all of this through bulking. Now, first we have to define what is bulking? Well, bulking is basically when you up your calories above your maintenance levels. So let's say your maintenance levels are around 2000. You want to up that from 500 all the way to 1000 to 2000 calories for extremely skinny guys in order to gain weight. Tip number one, calorie dense meals. Now, if you're like me, you struggle to eat. You hate eating. It's very hard for you to get your food down. You always leave half your plate. So what is the solution to this? Calorie dense foods. Foods such as peanut butter, pasta, avocado. These are great foods since there's a lot of calories in them. So it's much easier for you to get them down. Foods such as chicken, rice, and broccoli could help you. However, they aren't calorie dense at all. They have very few calories compared to a pizza or compared to peanut butter. So you would have to eat more quantity of chicken, rice, and broccoli if you want to do it the cleaner way. And it's going to be very hard. So I would say include a 70-30 diet. 70% cleanish food and 30% really honestly whatever you want to eat. As long as you get your calories down, you're good to go. Tip number two, liquid calories. It is way easier for you to just pop a shake and get it down rather than to eat a whole meal. Let me introduce to you the shake that I've been using for the past year and it's helped me tremendously on this book. Peanut butter is your best friend. Add 100 grams of peanut butter, one vanilla protein scoop, 500 millimeters of milk, and one banana. This shake totals up to 1060 calories and 44 grams of protein. Trust me when I'm saying without this shake, I wouldn't be where I am today. It is so essential for you to have a shake in your diet. Tip number three, protein. Now it is essential for you to have protein in your diet. If not, then how are you going to build muscle? However, it is recommended that you take one gram per pound of body weight. Since I weigh 143 pounds, I would have to eat 143 grams of protein. Always try to include a source of protein in your meals. You don't want to stack up most of your protein in a whole single meal. Since protein also is very filling, protein can fill you up very quickly. And our goal is to have enough space in our stomach to not feel full and force feed all of our food. I went through that and trust me, you do not want to force feed. It is the worst feeling in the world. You can avoid that simply through liquid calories and very high calorie dense foods. Tip number four, and it is to have more meals throughout the day. If you eat very big meals, it is going to be very hard to get those meals down. And then you're probably going to be full by the next meal since our metabolism is not meant to eat a lot of food. So the solution to this is to simply have more meals throughout the day. Have meals that are smaller in portions so that you don't get super filled up and that you can have enough room for your next meal. Tip number five, which is train hard enough. What do I mean by this? Most of you guys are training like you go and you do three sets of 12, four sets of 12. That's not really how it works. You have to choose a definite volume with not just 12 reps, but reps to failure. Okay, if you're taking the 12 reps to failure, fair enough. But you have to train to the point that you can't move the weight. That's an actual set, a valuable set that you can't move the weight by your last rep. Like your body physically does not let you move the weight. That is training to failure. That is training hard. You must apply progressive overload in order for you to build muscle. It, your muscles will eventually adapt to a single stimulus and you have to progressively overload the muscle in order for the muscle to grow. The ways to apply progressive overload is through weight, through technique, through intensity, or through volume. One of my deep dark secrets, a lot of people have probably heard of this, but um, it's basically an eight hour arm workout. 
So mainly the fastest and best way that you will do it since you're bulking is strength. You will be gaining strength through compound lifts. You want to be doing bench squat deadlift and you want to be doing pull-ups and all of your other semi compound lifts in order for you to get strong on those. Now that you get strong on those, you will build more muscle since you are progressively overloading the muscle with strength. You have to take your sets to failure. You have to train hard. Muscle hypertrophy happens when the muscle fibers are recruited and through weightlifting, micro tears happen. These micro tears are then healed up by the body through protein cells. And over the course of 48 to 72 hours, the muscle fibers will be completely healed up again and ready to go. This is why you have to train the muscle two to three times a week, not just once a week in like a bro split. You must train your muscles two to three times a week. If you train them two to three times a week, you will have more growth than if you only train them once a week since the muscle fibers are already healed up by 48 to 72 hours. So there's no point in resting the whole week when you can train them again 72 hours later. Tip number six, which is to eat fast. Now, I want you to put a timer, five to 10 minutes, and try to eat the bowl of plate as fast as you can. I know this may sound weird, but your brain actually tricks you. It makes you think that you're full when you're not really completely full. You can eat more, you just have to eat faster. This way you will trick your brain to think it is not full and you can eat even more. The seventh and final tip is to trust the process and stay disciplined on it. It might take you a long time. It might take you a short time. It all depends on genetics and on your hard work. How bad do you really want it? How bad do you want to change your body? You need to have patience with this goal. If you stay consistent with your diet and you see the results and you keep on going, I promise you that you will see drastic changes in your body and you will be very happy with your progress. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe and click the notification bell down below. Thank you and stay disciplined.